Okay, my people, welcome back to Critics News with more update on as he take the go. <laughs> you guys can remember how we take the do and for years. As we take see the matter soon, and so we take the talk. Um. But uh, be it as it may, we are really sorry for the retard, though. It's because of um, uh, one or two things we have on nine cause. Um. You understand? Uh, uh, and I saw the thing there. So, so um, quickly, let's go straight to the reason why we are here in case you have not followed us on the social media handles we are on instagram twitter and on facebook okay Ota. so let's go straight to the reason why we are here and uh, the retardo is because i wasn't feeling too fine <laughs> you like say this very way young now nah, this latest buari now nah, that we have <laughs> i nah, don't say don't give aisha buari belle hey, don't give because <laughs> If it were to be the original Buhari, I don't think that his piston and rings are still working like new ones. His piston and rings are, <laughs> you understand? But this new Buhari, <laughs> oh God. Uh, if you see the man in action, eh? <laughs> this latest Buhari now that we have, ah, uh, the man on a on a on a on a joke. Eh, so now my man now, I know I'm. I know I'm not the original one and the previous one. Okay, so in case you don't know me, I'm good man, the Kurikuwin of Africa and diaspora. Don't forget that anywhere you go to and they tell you that things are easier, let them know that it just has come. Okay, Ota, let's go straight. Now, um, yesterday we have uh, we got an update that Mazen Namdekanu gets a senior lawyer to show up defense against Buhari's government. I say, wow, that's a good news. So that is what we are going to be focusing on today now they said that a yet to be disclosed senior attorney is set to join the defense team of Fumazin nam the the leader of the indigenous people of biafra ipob niger news report that this was revealed by the pro biafra activist led council ifan for in a statement on tuesday after his monday visit to nam the according to a job for the lego giant a consummate uh, member of the inner bar, uh, Lego Iroko, who has distinguished himself in the practice of law, would lead the IPOB's leader defense team henceforth, while stating that the identity of the lawyer will be kept secret for now. The Jofor noted that moves have taken over social media space. <laughs> you see, everywhere now, everybody is broadcasting, broadcasting, broadcasting. What are they broadcasting? They don't even know the head. They don't know the tail. But what did they know is just that, ah, they are broadcasting. Some, you know, uh, how do I call it? When the Iroko trees uh, uh, falls, the birds, all of them will scamper away. So the people you see now, everybody broadcasting because they just want to make money in the name of IPOB. Now, he said, you must not understand the peculiarity of this visit and how significant it is. But in due course, I am certain you will be in the best position to fully appreciate the wisdom that informed it. Suffice, suffice it to say that um, as the late attorney of Onyendu, I took advantage of the visit to unveil a Lego giant, a distinguished and accomplished member of the inner bar whom I have chosen to fortify our defense team. So that's a good one now. Um, with what is uh, happening uh, and uh, let's see if that one can move us forward but not only just uh, the lawyers that we move the mm -hmm. the struggle forward the lawyers are doing their own part then the people that mazen and the Kanu left behind they also have a role to play don't just leave everything with these lawyers to go and be doing the one that you're supposed to do and the one that they are supposed to do eh -eh. it's very very wrong he said that the learned senior counsel is an excellent and consummate learned gentleman, distinguished in academics and in the practice of law in our law court. The reason that informed this arrangement is my unflinching desire to throw in every weapon in our, in our arsenal to ensure that Onyendu gets the best at all times. The latest master stroke evident in the lego giant that has intervened came to onyendu as a big surprise although he was not oblivious of my arrangement to enlist the assistance and cooperation of a senior attorney 
he did not know that I could get a senior attorney of the rarest breed. Hmm. Who knows who he has brought this far now? Who knows who this person is? I've been a fella now. I don't really know. Shall he was particularly delighted to welcome this Lego giant, a consummate member of the inner bar, a Lego Iroko, who has distinguished himself um, in, in, uh, in the practice of law when we visited him yesterday. <clears throat> I must state here and now that the senior attorney involved has been my mentor over the years. He has worked from the sidelines with our Lego team since 2016. He is a man um, imbued with profound intellect, legal sophistry, and uh, an infectious sense of history, much like Onyendu, and of impeccable character. His brilliance radiates effortlessly. He is indeed an excellent advocate. This is coming from Barista Ifanye Jofo concerning this uh, latest um, attorney that will be working with them to make sure that Mazen Namde Kanu gets his release in no time. Now he said that the stage which have attained the stage which we have attained in the court gymnastics involving onion do signposts and auspicious time at which to introduce the leading and erudite member of the inner bar to our defense team. So he said he's adding this man so that they will be solid and be able to break all these barriers that has been you know, holding Mazen Namde Kano. Henceforth, he will lead our defense team in proceedings in court. At the meeting yesterday, we deliberated extensively on other issues, but such deliberations for tactical reasons are to remain private for now. I want to assure you, Muchineke, that our legal team is presently more fortified than ever to do the battle or in court, and God being on our side, victory is assured. <coughs> Excuse me. No be the the when I tell on I say I know where <laughs> this buari buari. Uh -huh. If I see you for my dream again, eh? if I see you, the kind wrong one I go give you this new buari. <laughs> now at the meeting yesterday, we deliberated extensively on other issues, but such deliberations for tactical reasons remains private. I must hasten. I, I, <laughs> oh my God. He said that I must hasten to declare to you that we are not relenting in our firm resolve to re secure the release of the members who have been unjustly and unlawfully incarcerated in the various prison facilities of Nigeria's security agencies all over the country. They will come to Ibo land and pick up somebody and the person will land in Zaria. They will come to Ibo land, pick up somebody, and the person will land in, a, 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 what do you call it, in Bonu State, in the name of imprisoning that person. So all those prisons in the Southeast, they know they exist. They are not working. Some of those, in, um, th some of the persons include Hadan Soka, Idara, and others who were recently abducted by lawless and overzealous agents of the state. I assure you that in due course, we will effectively utilize the instrumentality of the law to set them at liberty. The mere fact that we do not publicize our legal intention, interventions in the social media space does not mean that we are not taking concrete and effective steps to secure the release of all those unjustly detained. I assure you that we have been taking effective steps and implementing concrete measures geared towards that okay so we are um we are hopeful that um, with the new attorney who will be working with a barrister if I need for that uh, something positive will come out in no distant time but that doesn't mean that we have to leave everything to them we must also continue to do what we are supposed to do like uh, all those uh, protests of obodo you everything just died down even the sit at home that was the home protest Everything now. Nah. Oops. They just off everything. Let me play you this video so you can see what uh, Fulanis are doing. The threat letter was not sent to the churches. The threat letter was dropped at 
around the headquarters and it was brought to me. I was the one that opened the envelope, read the threat letter. On seeing that, I now invited the Christian Association of Nigeria to tell them about the threat. Whether it is real or not, we have to be security conscious. So I gave them copies of the letter so that they will adjust their programs in the church. Instead of closing late, they should close on time. Thereabout, I now directed all my DPOs to ensure that every Friday, police patrol team must go to mosque and give them adequate security until they finish the Jumat prayers. Equally, on Sundays, all the patrol teams will go around the churches and ensure that they are safe and after the church surges before they close. The threat we don't take it lightly because we don't know who is behind it. And I've advised the Christian community to be peaceful, they should not bother, I'm on top of the situation, mm -hmm. and I told them that if they have if they notice anything, they should make sure they inform me immediately. And they themselves should have their security men to be on guard. If they see any suspicious movement, they should inform me. Because security is not just for the police, it's for everybody. So that's what I did. The letter came to me by investigating. I've directed my SIB to move in to see if we can unravel the circumstances beyond the letter. The DSS are equally working on because I've informed all the security agencies, all, and we're all investigating to get to the root of it. All right. When I don't see them, so <laughs> people are, they are now writing uh, threat letters in the north now against the church. They distribute it to churches, even I believe even mosques. So nowhere is safe again. They now bring you notice before they strike. And that one he's saying that they are going to deploy police. How many days? Before you know it now, after that day now, one one day after speaking. DP will go withdraw his men. Say, oh, yeah, 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 go and look for where to stand and collect money. Now, that one won't give us money. I bet leave them there. Them. <laughs> you don't know that kind of story. As it is, they go for Nigeria. Now, they tell you so. Before you know it now, DP will go say, I bet, I bet, I bet forget them. May they go worship their God there. May God, their God, protect them. I bet I go look for where I go collect money. When I go, <laughs> you understand? Before you know it, money go, they come like this. For Southeast now, that's why you have checkpoint. Because they are making, they are, they are, they are making money from people every day, every blessed day. Enough of that nonsense. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.